So let's look at 20, 21 paper 2, question number 2 from section A. The question on enzymes. I I'd say uh, figure 2 shows the stages involved in an enzyme characterized reaction inside cells of a living body. Okay. So I've got uh, this diagram, which is a uh, figure, figure two. I. Okay, so I've got stages one, two, and three. Okay, then let us look at the question two to time. Question A is saying from stage one in figure two, identify the enzyme. Okay, from stage one, from st and they've specified from stage one. They want to, they are many stage design. Okay, we have stage, uh, how many stages have we been given? There are three, eh? Stage one, two, three, but they said from stage one, they want you to identify the what? The enzyme. So guys, which one is the enzyme and which one is the substrate? Can we have? Which one is the enzyme? Huh? Yes, dear. It's the eye. It's the eye, it's the what? The enzyme, others? Others, do you have a different answer? Do you have a different answer? Okay, let the eye, this is our eh? This is our enzyme, very good. This is our enzyme. So, I'm going to say this one is what? Okay, let me just answer from this side, right? Okay? Solutions. You can say answer, right? So, we have question A. Roman numeral what? One. Okay? So which one is our enzyme? We're saying I this is our what? So this is our enzyme. This is our enzyme. Okay, so I the enzyme you say the enzyme. The enzyme is what? I. Enzyme I. Are we together? Then they want us to identify the substrate. Substrate. So the substrate in this case is what? G and what? H. G and what? H. So we can say G and H. G and what? And H. This is our substrate. And for the sake of revision, guys, you know what an enzyme design? So we said an enzyme is what? It's just a parot word, a catalyst. Then a subject, you're talking about a what? A substance on which an enzyme, an enzyme works on. Eh? A substance where an enzyme is going to work on. That's what we what? A subject. Eh? An enzyme is a parot catalyst. Then a subject is a substance where an enzyme operates eh? or works on. Okay? So this is our enzyme, then you have got a what? A subject. Eh? It has to be a person B, direct. Uh, question B has two parts, Roman numeral 1 and 2. So I'm going to start with Roman numeral 1. It's saying uh, which stage shows uh, the enzyme substrate complex? Okay, so in this case, when they say enzyme substrate complex, they're talking about a compound which has been formed by the enzyme they were substrate time. Okay, so a combination of uh, the enzyme and the substrate, this stage what? It's one. Yes. So a complex which has been formed by the subtract and the what and the enzyme line. This is what you call the what? The enzyme uh, subtract complex sign. So question B. Uh, Roman number one. The enzyme subtract complex it is uh, represented by stage what? Stage two. So the answer for this question is stage what? Stage two. Let us look at question B. Roman numero 2, uh, label the active site of an enzyme on figure 2, the active site, okay? So what is meant by an active site? An active site, just to simplify it, you can say it's a site where the substrate, a site in an enzyme line, where the substrate is uh, fitted in, okay? Where the substrate is fitted, that's what you call the word. So I'll give an example. If this is our enzyme, right? 
Let's say this is our what? Okay, say this is our Maybe it's what? Okay, maybe it's okay. okay. Let's say this is our enzyme. Right? This is our enzyme. This is our enzyme. Okay? If this is my what? My enzyme. My enzyme. Then I will put something like this. Okay, or something like this. Okay? Are we together, people? So this is my enzyme, this is my what? Sub split. Are we together, people? So where this sub is going to fit in, this is what for the active what? site. So this is our what? active site. This is our what? This is our active site. Where this is going to fit in? Okay, this is our active. So this one becomes our active what? Active site. Is it okay, people? Is it clear with you? Where this subtract is going to fit, okay? The site in an enzyme mine, where the subtract is going to enter. That's what you call the active one site. So we realize in this case, the active site, uh, this one's the active site, active site, active site, active site. Right? So they're saying, label on this uh, diagram the active one site. So you can say this is our active active what site for so this this domain okay where the, the subject is going to fit in. is it clear with you so we've answered uh, this question we've answered this question right the active site can you just come up with this diagram that you can know what we're doing okay so this is our what active what Active what here is active site. Did you find with you? Okay. Then let us look at uh, question C. So question C has three parts. We have uh, part one, Roman number one, Roman number two, and Roman number three. So Roman number uh, one of question C say, what type of metabolic reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme in <coughs> figure two? Remember we talked about metabolism when? Where we say metabolism, we're talking about the sum total of chemical reaction which takes place in living matter organisms. Right? Then there are two types of metabolism. We have uh, we have what? We have catabolism and we have what? Anabolism. Okay? So among us these two, catabolism or anabolism. Which one is being catalyzed by the enzyme? Okay, so remember we said uh, catabolism. This is uh, a type of metabolic uh, reaction which involves breaking down, right? Okay. Then anabolism. This is uh, a type of metabolic reaction which involves building building up. Okay. So in this case, this involves the same what breaking. The key word in this one is what break, break in this one is what building, building up. Okay, so realize in this case, for us to come up with uh, the enzyme, the enzyme substrate complex, uh, it's like you have the substrate and the what? The enzyme, okay? It's like you have a building up, up in the eye. Okay, these are have been combined right, to form this. So in this case, we're talking about building, which is what? Anabolism. Okay, so the correct uh, metabolic reaction that characterized by uh, the enzyme in this reaction is what? Ana anabolism. There is built in a point. This one has been built a point. It has been built up by the subject and the what? The enzyme. Enzyme. Okay? So, uh, we can see Roman number one. The same is what? Ana anabolism. Anabolism. Okay, we can say anabolic reaction, right? Eh? We can say anabolic reaction is no problem. Then you can look at uh, question C, Roman numeral 2, uh, which is saying what? What it say? Name a region in the human what? In the human body, uh, okay? Where such a metabolic <coughs> reaction in C above can occur. So, which metabolic reaction are we talking about? Anabolism. So they want you to mention the what? Are the part or the region in the human body, 
the human body where an embolism reaction can take place. Right? Yeah. Then the best answer is at the river. The what? Stomach. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> okay, let's say the river. You have all the reasons. But the best answer is uh, the river. Okay? I'll give an example. In the river, there's what you go uh, metabolism of carbohydrates. Okay? Where we have, uh, if let's say you have uh, excess glucose, right? Excess glucose. Okay? Those are glucose molecules that have been uh, synthesized or they have been built up to form what you call glycogen. Glycogen. Okay? Which is a polysaccharide. Okay? So if you have what say these are excess. This is excess glucose, excess glucose, excess glucose, excess glucose. How you been? These are, let's say, uh, glucose molecules, right? These are glucose molecules. They are in excess. How it be that? So these are glucose molecules. If they are in excess in blood, okay, they are going to be what? To be built up. Okay, they are going to be what? Built up. Okay? This and this, they are going to form a chain. Uh, disagree. This and this, they are going to form a chain. Disagree. This and this, they are going to form a chain. Then they are going to we going to have a polysaccharide, which is what? Glycogen. How are you moving together? So this glycogen, okay? We're talking about uh, this process. Excess glucose, excess glucose, excess glucose being uh, converted, okay, or being built up into a uh, glyco, glycogen. This is anabolism. Anabolism involves what built in a body. So you get a uh, smaller molecules of what? Glucose. Okay, to form what? Uh, a complex that are more grain. Okay? So these glucose molecules are what? These are what? These are monosaccharides. Right? Okay? Then you build up. Okay? You join these together, these, to form a polysaccharide. Right? Okay? This is anabolism built in a body. Okay? So this is done in the river. Okay? So, no wonder I'm saying the best answer for this question is the, the river, okay? Where we have built, built in up of what? Glucose molecules to form uh, a glycogen. glycogen. Uh, Roman numero three. State are the general term used to refer to enzymes that work inside cells. So, I've got enzymes which uh, work outside cells and those which work what? Inside what? Are cells. So, what do we call enzymes which work? Inside the cells. What we call enzymes which work inside the cells. Okay, the general term. Boys. Okay, Steve. Intracellular enzymes. Okay, very good. Uh, enza. Enzymes, okay. Then those which work outside, they are called what? Extracellular. So if the question was, uh, state the general term used to refer to enzymes which work outside, to say extra, extracellular, extra, extracellular enzymes. So those which work inside, they are called what? <coughs> Intracellular. Then the last question was indeed describe two industrial. Uh, Application of enzymes. Just to just to yes, sister, baby, what's the answer? In one? In baking, very good. Yes? In brewery. Another one? Yes? Okay, making soap, or we can say uh, washing paste. I can use what enzymes. I move it with them. Enzymes and enzymes are the ones which digest. Let's say I've got let's say uh, a t-shirt, a white t-shirt. Then it has got some let's say dead stems. I okay. Then you apply let's say you apply let's say what? Let's say you apply bone with that what? A stem on your shirt. I what's going to digest the dirty stems, the enzymes? Okay, I will do that. So. Enzymes are used in what? Baking, brewing. They are also used in what? Uh, baking, washing pastes. Okay? So, okay, this is our D. Can you say? In baking, in uh, 
manufacturing manufacturing of what let's say washing what washing then we talk about uh probably what's we might this 